here and welcome to a little bit of deep learning at Keras where we learn just a little bit of deep learning and a whole lot of Keras. Um, today we're going to be talking about inspecting models. Um, it's going to be like model extra stuff. We're going to be talking about inspecting models and, and loading and saving models. So very important for taking a model from uh, fit to production. Uh, so I was planning on getting into layers initially but I think this is more important. Uh, we've got to get it out of the way. Okay, so if you're ready, let's go. Okay, inspecting a model. Um, so, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'll make a model. If you are unfamiliar with what this is, please watch the previous two videos somewhere. Um, make a model. <clears throat> I'll show you the model.summary. Um, so I, I fit the model, I compile the model, I made the model, blah, blah, blah. The summary will tell you what's in the model. Uh, again, it, it's comprised of parameters, uh, those that are trainable and those that are not trainable. <clears throat> Another way that you can look at the model is looking at the config. Um, so this config will tell you literally everything about the model except for what the current configuration of the weights are. So you could reinitialize a model. It would not be trained. So notice that the class uh, dense with an activation of sigmoid, um, kernel initializer, uh, variant scaling, blah, blah, blah. A ton of stuff. Um, so the config is one way to do this. Um, uh, in, a, in addition to looking at the config to tell you what everything is, you can just go grab the, the layer, the specific layer. So I can do uh, a git layer output, and this will, this will go ahead and grab the layer in the model. Um, in, in addition to this, um, let's go ahead and do this. I, I can do uh, model.layers, um, uh, and, this, and this will just show me all the layers in here. I can just specifically grab one out. Um, Finally, you, you've got this history object. Um, you may be confused at where this came from, but every time I fit, I spit back a history object. Um, so the history.history .history is here. And this will tell me the accuracy, the loss, the, all, all the good stuff on a model. Uh, in, in addition to that, we can look at the model.history.history. Uh, history. Um, this is the exact same thing. So this will tell you like, hey, you know, our model had a couple of training runs. Uh, this, this is how it did on these training runs. Um, so very useful. Um, so that's introspecting the model. It's kind of like looking inside the model, what good user there. Um, we, we didn't go over this uh, previously, but these can be incredibly useful. History.history, .history, get out uh, the layers, uh, get layer, all this. Um, the next part is saving and loading models. Oh, there's a couple ways to do this. Um, one, we can, we can dump the model to JSON. Um, so I, I guess you guys want to want to probably see what the model looks like when it's in JSON form. Um, oh, uh, JSON string. There you go. So this big fat string, very parsable. But anyways, again, this is just how it's initialized. This is, doesn't include the weights. Um, you can dump it to YAML if you want. Uh, you can dump it to a config if you want. And all of these ways, uh, you can you can take a model. You can sort of load it into a, a form that you can store somewhere and then you can just load it back in. Again, you're going to have to retrain the model, but um, uh, you can set weights in a model. I'll talk about this a little bit later on. But once I have the model, I can perhaps have saved the weights somewhere and I can set them. So I can get model.get weights. You can also get the weights from the model to save them. So I can set and save. In, in addition, there's like super convenient wrappers here. There's save weights. So this will take a file path. It will dump all of the uh, weights in an uh, HD5, um, sorry, HDF5 uh, file format. So you need to install that if you haven't done it. Um, and then you can, of course, uh, load the weights. You, you need to instantiate the model from something. Um, and then finally, the simplest way to do this is model.save. This saves everything. Um, so it will save the architecture, the weights, and the state of the optimizer. Uh, if, if you decide to include that. And then of course you have the load model that, that will just take this HD5 file and load that model back in. Um, so again, incredibly important if you are trying to productionalize this because you'll save your model to an HD5 file, you'll push it up somewhere and you'll load it. Um, and then you can you know, periodically change that file as, as your model gets updated. Um, okay, that's about it. Um, we'll get into layers next time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, and I'll see you guys later. As always, always a pleasure.